All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for, drawing a pentagon with a compass and uh, I'm using a ruler, but it's just a straight edge for the purpose of this video, uh, so I can draw some straight lines. So we'll see if I can do this all in one take um, for your milestone. Milestone six, is it? Milestone. Yeah, milestone six, uh, you will be needing to draw two pentagons and finding the scale factor between them. Remember, all regular hexagons are similar. All regular shapes with the same number of sides are similar. Um, so you'll find that scale factor when you're done, uh, which we've done in a different video. But in this one, we're going to draw those pentagons. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is set my compass to a reasonable width here. I think that this is fine. Right now my setting is on about four and a half, uh, but you know, anything around there should be fine. I'm gonna draw a circle. And then I need to mark the center of this circle and label it B. And I'm going to take my compass and put it on the circle and draw another circle through B. So we have um, this nice looking Venn diagram again. I'm not sure if this qualifies as a Vesica Pisces, but uh, it does remind me of that drawing that Miss Jamie led us through. This is a, this is circle A. I'm going to label this intersection point down here as C. And then we will draw a line through CA that intersects on the circle. Let's do that here. I'm going to call that point D. Then I'm going to draw a line through DB. And I'm going to call this intersection point E. Now, the way that we're going to make this is uh, I'm going to have my compass and set it to the size of EC. So the size of this line segment EC that doesn't exist, it's not drawn, but I can still set my compass to that size. And then I'm gonna center my circle on A and draw a bigger circle around A. Now the reason why is because I'm going to take my um, ruler, I'm gonna draw a line through CB, and I don't actually need to draw the line itself, I can just find an intersection point. So I have my ruler along CB here, and then where that line would intersect this bigger circle, I'm going to make a point and call that F. Now we're almost done here because the segment EF is going to be the length of every side of my regular pentagon that we're constructing. So I'm going to take my compass and set it equal to that length, EF. And then I'm going to do the uh, old Miss Jamie style of marking that on the circle itself. So I'm going to mark that here. Then I'm going to move my center over here where I marked it and mark it again on the circle. Move the center over to that marking, mark it again. Move it again over to the new marking, mark it again. And then this should already be the same size, uh, which it is more or less. I am pretty much done here. Now I'm going to take my ruler and connect all of those points. So E to the marking. 
and then that marking to a new one. And then that marking to the next one. And then that marking to the next. Got my spirals here, which are kind of in the way of my straight edge. That should be good. And I think I'm allowed to say voila here. Here's my regular pentagon. No ruler needed for lengths, no protractor needed for angles, just a compass and a straight line creator. And there it is. Let's get a better view of that guy. Um, so we can see there it is. Straight, regular, every angle is 108 degrees. I don't need to measure, even need to measure it. I'm so confident. You can make these lines darker if you want. If you feel like you're good to go on this, you can stop watching. I'm just going to make this a little bit more clear where the Pentagon is. It's over here. And that right there is a beautiful pentagon. Now, I would even reckon to say if you can draw this shape, you are pretty much good to go with the compass itself. Because uh, this is a tough one. And then you can erase all this if you want. Let me know if you're interested in drawing a pentagon without drawing the entire circles. I can do this same process where I only mark arcs. We've been like, this is an arc right here where we just do the marking. That's something that we could do. For example, I did not need to draw all of this part of the circle. I could have stopped at a certain point. I just want to make sure when you're watching that it's clear that I'm drawing the circle. But I actually don't need to do that. And if you're interested in drawing these pentagons with as little other markings as possible, that's something that I would love to meet with you about during office hours or during an asynchronous lesson, um, because I really enjoy doing constructions. Something else I, I did was, I know you, you all love mechanical pencils, big teenager thing to enjoy your mechanical pencils. And what I realized was they fit really nicely in the compass. There's no tape here. You can see that it's not locked in either. Um, but because it has this goofy handle thing on it that I see all the time, uh, it really fits nicely in there. So that's cool. Yeah, and if I'm able to erase this, I could then retrace over it with a different uh, color or a different uh, material. And when I was drawing these originally, I probably could have drawn them a little lighter so that they erase when I want to erase them. But there's the Pentagon itself. That looks okay. I don't see a lot of marks there. I'm sure I could do a little bit better here, but um, there's the Pentagon itself. That's a regular guy. And then I'm going to show you again my original drawing. When you're done, it's okay if it looks like this, uh, because that's what it looks like when you do all the constructions itself. So you might have to watch this video more than once. That's okay. I certainly did when I found the, uh, when I refreshed my memory by finding the video online. Um, it's no big deal there. And then these, remember these last four minutes have basically just been me making it look a little bit nicer. So uh, good luck today. Uh, let me know if you need help finding those scale factors and uh, have a good one.